our Rector Major and the Rectors of our different seminaries, Father Eugene and our Brother Priests, my dear seminarians, dear sisters, friends in the Lord. It is not unusual that our three seminaries celebrate the Mass of the Holy Spirit separately. But it is quite unusual that the high school seminary and the theology seminary participate virtually in the Eucharist. And the reason is obvious, COVID-19. But what makes this Mass of the Holy Spirit extraordinary also is that for the first time, we are celebrating this Mass in this chapel with this new mosaic accompanying us in our worship. It is still Chapel of Mary Help of Christians, but Father Eugene, our priest mosaic artist, has so kindly made it for us that we still recognize Mary Help of Christians under another episode in the life of the Lord. There are three significant gestures of the Virgin Mary under the title Help of Christians. Number one, she is always standing. Our Lady of Montserrat or Divina Pastora are images of the Virgin Mary seated. But Mary, help of Christians, is always standing. The second typical sign of Mary, help of Christians, is to clutch, to embrace the baby Jesus. And the third symbol is the scepter on her other hand. Before us, my dear brothers and sisters, is still Mary, help of Christians, standing, embracing, but this time without the scepter. Instead of the scepter, she is holding the body of her son. These are the three gestures that I would like to implant in your hearts, my dear seminarians. Number one, standing. There are some artists who, out of piety, paint the Blessed Virgin Mary at Calvary, slumped, grieving, as she embraces the body of her son. But that is not fair. In fact, it is not accurate because it is completely contrary to the spirit that St. John the Evangelist wrote in the Gospel. Mary was standing. She was not seated. She was not slumped. She was standing. Because standing is an act of anger. She was angry at this situation. But that anger was also accompanied by courage. Courage to believe that in a matter of days, this situation will end. St. Augustine said that hope has two daughters. The first daughter of hope is anger. Anger at this situation. But the second daughter of hope is courage. Courage to believe that I can do something and God will use me to change the situation. That is Mary Help of Christians. Standing up angry at the situation, not tolerant. Angry at the situation, not passive. Angry at the situation because it should not be so. And yet that anger is accompanied by courage. Courage to believe that this situation will change. Courage to believe that the power of the Lord is greater than this evil. Now, my dear seminarians, that should be your posture all the time. To stand up. You are seated right now because you're listening. You will be seated in the classroom. But do not forget that your most important posture as priests, as future priests later on, is to stand up with courage, to stand up angry 
at a situation that needs the redemption of the Lord. The second gesture after standing is embracing. Look at the hand cupped to catch the blood of the Lord. Embracing the Lord. Whether embracing the Lord as a baby or embracing the Lord as a 33-year-old crucified son, she is always embracing, never without her son. To embrace is to love. To embrace is to bring to the chest. To embrace is bring to the chest and closer to the heart. In other words, our vocation is not just to stand up, angry at the situation, but courageous to, to change it. Our gesture is also to embrace Him and never allow ourselves to be separated from Him. That put, puts in context, my dear seminarians, the reason why the most important part of the seminary is the chapel and the most important part of the chapel is the tabernacle. And the most important event of your daily schedule is the Mass. And the most important part of the Mass is receiving the body of the Lord, embracing the Lord, allowing the Lord to enter your soul, rest in your heart, and change you little by little. Our Masses are usually in the morning, and I can understand that you might be sleepy because you're young. But please make an effort, my dear seminarians, your most important part of the day is the Mass. And your most important duty is to receive the Lord. Because after standing, you, my dear seminarians, should always be embracing the Lord. The Dalai Lama said, where you have friends, that is your country. And then he continued by saying, Where you are loved, that is your home. But whoever loves you, that person is your mother. Because a mother can love us uniquely. And no one can ever love us more than our mothers next to the Lord. Now, as priests, you will be called fathers. But before your fathers, you must be brothers. But in a manner of speaking, you are called to be mothers for Jesus because you're supposed to be the first to love Jesus, embracing Him, clutching Him, catching His blood. The third gesture of Mary Health of Christians, after standing and embracing the third gesture is holding the scepter. The scepter is a symbol of power. Father Eugene has so kindly laid down the scepter of the Virgin Mary by her foot. And instead of the scepter, the Virgin Mary holds the body of her son. Because the scepter is not the scepter that Queen Elizabeth holds. The scepter is a scepter of power. It is a symbol of power. And the, and the power of the Virgin Mary is not queenly power. The power of the Virgin Mary is the body of her son. Why? Because the body of Jesus is the body of Mary. God is pure spirit. Where did God, where did Jesus get his body? But from the body of Mary. And that is the power of the Virgin Mary. To hold the body of her son. Because that body was her body. Before the apostles could say, take this, this is my body, this is my blood. The Virgin Mary at the foot of the cross could say, this is my body, this is my blood. This blood came from me. This body came from me. I gave him my womb. I gave him myself. 
and they gave him flesh and blood. Again, my dear seminarians, when you hold the power in your hands, remember that it is not meant to rule, it is not meant to dominate, it is meant to show to the people that my power is the body of the Lord and to be able to give that body to your brothers and sisters is real power. Three words for the school year 2020-2021. Stand, embrace, and give. That scepter was not close to her chest. That scepter is extended because that scepter is not for queens. That scepter is for mothers who give body and blood to their children. Stand up for the Lord with anger against the situation, but with courage that the power of God is stronger. Embrace the Lord because the Lord is our strength. And the Lord alone gives meaning to our lives. Finally, give the power, share the power. Whatever scepter you receive, it is always meant to be shared because the mark of a real disciple should be generosity in giving. For this school year, my dear seminarians, stand up, embrace, and give so that in the seminary we do not only form you to become another Jesus we also form you to become another Mary to give birth to Jesus in this world that is looking for him 